hello listener thank you for tuning into green gossip podcast by the disposal company powered by vanity wagon green gossip takes the storytelling route to sustainability at green gossip podcast we explore childhood memories education work experiences family values and more to understand the sustainability vision of people behind your favorite brands Well, today is World Oral Care Day and we have with us a very special guest. Well, let's welcome Kavita Yagnik, the co-founder of Spicta. Spicta is a new age D2C oral care brand with the purpose to redesign your entire oral care experience. So today we have with us Kavita Yagnik from Spicta. Hello Kavita welcome to Green Gossip. Hey Bhagyashri hi. So before we begin I just want all the listeners to know that uh, Spicta was actually one of the first oral care brand not actually one of the first it was the first oral care brand that we started working with and interestingly we actually started working on plastic neutrality even before you guys launched the brand is that right Kavita? Yeah 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 that's that's right. So what actually that speaks about your brand and your vision as a founder uh, you know is that you care about this at the very core so sustainability sits at the very core of your brand uh, and it's amazing that you know you think this way i want to deep dive into this conversation more and understand where this understanding has come from and where is this leading your brand so uh, you know without further ado i'm just going to start with at like start with the start so which is like you know your childhood so you grew up in bombay and i want to know like what were those early like instances what were those some of the things that seeped so deep into your mind and built your basics or foundations of your sustainability vision uh yeah so i think um there were quite a few things which were happening at that time back when we were kids that you know there were restrictions coming up from the government on the use of plastic bags on the use of plastic in general in different kinds of um in different kinds of products so multiple things that were happening schools were enforcing restrictions on not bringing plastic bags to schools so multiple there were multiple multiple things happening from the government front people were becoming a little more conscious about what they are using in their day to day lives uh but i think there was one incident which which i definitely remember which made me as a person more conscious about um um uh, about the environment about sustainability as such so i think i remember i was i was quite young back then and i remember my mom had asked me to get some some odd jobs done while i was on my way back from school so get some vegetables some groceries and some of those things and at that time you know we were of that mentality that you know why do i carry a plastic bag the the vendor will obviously give us one right so why do i i mean why do i carry any bag for that matter of my own i'll just ask the vendor to give me a plastic bag and get done with it um and i did just that because i was too lazy or too bored to carry <laughs> my own bag um so obviously i took the bag from there i just came home gave gave the stuff to my mom and then ticket was done um i actually completely forgot about that incident after that but a few days later we were we were just going again to buy our next set of groceries and vegetables and my mom made it a point she asked me to come along with her and she said that um and she had all of those plastic bags with her which which i had brought two days back and i just looked and i was actually shocked that you know she still has them with her and she's not thrown them away we didn't talk much about it but then when we went to the vendor um she actually gave all those bags back to him and she said you know we are not going to use this anyway hum to isko fek denge aapko kaam aa jayega somebody else might ask for a bag somebody else might have not brought it so rather than just us throwing it out and wasting it why don't you use it for the next customer so i think that is one one thing which i distinctly remember that you know um it sort of laid the foundation of of sustainability and of uh, taking care of the environment in me wow i think that's really cool that you, you know one like your how your mom thought about it and like these 
small things as you said really go a long way um but like while i think that it's very cool that you as a kid also paid attention to these things and you learned these things i know for a fact that uh, people are age like you know while we were growing up we always wanted new things we also always wanted to fit in we still always yeah. trying to fit in but in that case like you know something like this where uh, at the time we did not have this whole uh, system of taking our own things to the market like you know say carrying your own bag or like how today yeah, uh, yeah. we carry our own tumblers to fill coffee but back yeah. in the days this was not normal so like yeah. you also faced these things where you felt ashamed about it and when this was encouraged at your home but did you struggle yeah of course i mean i did you know it was it was um um i mean it was not a very cool thing uh, per se at that point to carry your own bags uh, but at that time i remember that as a family whenever we went out even for the like even even if we went to a mall to buy things i remember we used to carry our own bags and i was super ashamed at that point that you know why not just flaunt uh, a shopper stop bag which you get from there and show the world that you bought from shopper stop why carry your own cloth bag and stuff all the clothes in there but um uh, you know that's that's when i realized that i mean but for me it was a strict no from the family it was a strict no that no we are not getting any of those bags you want to buy stuff you buy stuff but it has to be in our own bag so i think at that point yes like you mentioned right we do try to fit in we do we do sort of feel ashamed to carry our own bag or we feel like you know it's not so cool to carry your um, to carry your own bag why not just get a bag from there but i think all of these things they are they they are the foundation of what you become today of what you become as a person and it influences a lot in your professional life when you when you start doing something of your own when you or or even otherwise like small incidents like these which happen at a very early stage in your childhood they sort of um, build the foundation for you um, as you grow old and what about like you know uh, like things in your educational or professional life that led you towards sustainability uh, like even today what are the things that drive you what is it that you know speaks to you today when you see other brands doing things what are the things that really uh, make you excited about sustainability um gradually as you grow up you you start seeing things around you and for that matter now brands have evolved a lot in terms of sustainability or in terms of what they want to do towards their environment so whether it is say initiatives like upcycling or circular economy in fashion or maybe say non plastic alternatives that that are used in personal care or maybe sustainable materials which are used for housing furniture real estate so it just proves that over a period now brands and consumers are becoming really conscious about uh, sustainability about what they want to do for the environment and that is showing in every little thing it 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 shows in the choices uh, that they make as a person and it also reflects in the choices i mean people people choose brands that are um supporting sustainability people opt for brands that don't have um uh, that don't use plastic so it's it's gradually um the awareness is is gradually rising and that's actually a great thing that people are becoming more conscious towards the environment and brands also are um doing a lot to um sort of uh, make themselves as as truly sustainability oriented brands yeah and i think you very rightly address the conscious consumption patterns that are you know rising and we are seeing that on everyday basis uh, and you being on the brand side where you know you're developing products for these consumers for the new age consumer firstly what's very intriguing to me is why an oral care brand but on top of it why a sustainable oral care brand how do you see this industry evolving why are you doing the things that you are doing today so i'll i'll first address why do we want why did we do something in oral care and then i'll come to uh, the entire part of associating sustainability with oral care um so if you see that oral care um in india for that matter there are just three or four major players and they have the same old formulations the same old um flavors they're filled with toxic chemicals they filled with artificial um, sweeteners artificial flavors so 
you know all of these brands they talk about killing germs and fighting bacteria but the overall the actual essence of care of caring for your mouth of caring for your teeth that somewhere down the line got lost and uh, that's when we decided that you know what does a consumer want in in their entire oral care journey they want to feel fresh they don't want a very burning sensation they don't want um uh, some kind of irritation in their mouth when they when they brush their teeth um and that's when we decided that you know we want to solve this for the consumer we want to make products that keeps the consumer in focus in terms of um flavors in terms of freshness in terms of the ingredients that we are using so we said we are we're going to build a, a a brand which is which is which truly cares for the consumers um oral hygiene and it's not a mundane routine although consumers now feel that oral care is something which is very mundane and okay we we just do it for the sake of doing it's actually something which impacts your overall um hygiene of or your overall health of the body so it's not something which needs to be taken lightly and that can be solved only if we have the right set of products which actually solve for the consumers issue and at the same time make them enjoy the overall oral care experience so that's what we wanted to do and that's why we launched spikta um uh, which is which is a brand into oral care primarily into non toxic uh, oral care products and we made sure that we understand what are the kinds of chemicals that are used in oral care products today and um what are the natural counterparts like for example sls which is used to generate foaming in your toothpaste that is a very common ingredient used in detergents why not use natural foaming agents that do the same thing or maybe say triclosans or propylene glycol which are the ingredients which are used in adhesives and paints and soaps why should all of those chemicals be going into your mouth why not use say green tea leaf extracts or aloe vera extracts which actually strengthen your gums they they work as an antibacterial so they do the same job that the chemical ingredients were doing but at the same time don't have any harmful side effects on your uh, on your body so that's when we decided that we want to build a brand which which is uh, uh, like i said non toxic and at the same time has very new and innovative flavors like a cucumber mint toothpaste or a peach mint mouthwash which which consumers would look forward to brushing and they would enjoy their overall oral care experience so yeah so that's why we launched something into oral care um coming to the next part of it like why why did we want to do something uh for a sustainable oral care or why did, why did we think about or how did we think about sustainability in oral care so i think um i realized uh that you know we talk about like i mentioned that now customers are slightly more evolved in terms of their buying behavior in terms of their consumption patterns we do use say cloth bags instead of plastic bags or we or we do use say uh uh cutlery which is non plastic or we do use a toothbrush which is a bamboo toothbrush but apart from that there is not much which we th- actually think um uh about sustainability in oral care like if you ever search for something um with respect to sustainable oral care maybe you would find a whole range of bamboo based toothbrushes which is which is great which is a good step good first step in sustainability in in this um category but there's a lot more so for example we've not imagined the kind of uh, plastic waste that goes because of the toothpaste tubes that we use or maybe the mouthwash bottles that we use so we we started researching on this and we realized um so as per a forbes report globally there are about 1.5 billion plastic tubes or toothpaste tubes only that are discarded every year and i'm not even including mouthwash and toothbrush and the entire bit of plastic which is generated from there and that's when we realized that because um Uh, most of these tubes are made of mixed materials so they are made of aluminium and plastic put together they are very difficult to recycle and it ends up in landfills so that's when we decided that we want to do something um towards sustainability in oral care when we read deeper we realized that there is a lot of carbon dioxide emission that also goes um in in this category like for example um as per a who report there is almost 10 kilograms of carbon emission carbon dioxide emission per person when they use a toothpaste in a year 
again this does not include any other products like a toothbrush or a mouthwash um so from toothpaste alone indians would generate almost like 5 billion kilograms of carbon dioxide and that's when we realized that you know apart from the toxic chemicals that are going inside your body by using these traditional oral care brands there is a lot of toxic waste which is getting generated and which is being thrown away into the environment and so we decided that it is very important that we do something towards a sustainable oral care brand and we want to truly become the pioneers of sustainability in oral care in india and that's why we decided that um we want to do something towards sustainability even before we launch our brand um in the market Wow Kavita that was a really like an eye opener first i want to say that the way that you know you come up and you say talk about these things with data uh, and you know your research is backed with credible data sources i think that's very informative and as a brand and as a founder for you to really understand the understand these issues uh, and understand them in depth is really crucial for the market to evolve uh, also from the consumer side for all our listeners i want to tell you that today is 20th march and it's oral care day uh, so i urge you that uh, on you know on a day like this you maybe you know switch to a more sustainable brand when it comes to oral care uh, and yeah like you know uh, i'm also going to do a shameless plug in for spicta because it is a fantastic brand <laughs> so definitely like you know choose a more sustainable option that is not just good for your health but also good for the planet uh speaking of you know good for the planet uh, you already talked about the issues that you care about but tell us uh, for real you know what are the things that you as a brand are currently undertaking to actually help maybe offset some of these footprints or what are the things that you know uh, you are going to do in future to make it a more sustainable brand one is the plastic neutrality uh, initiative for which we've partnered with the disposal company where we are we are uh, so we, basically we are a 100 100% plastic neutral brand so whatever is the um, amount of plastic that is generated tdc um, recycles the same amount on our behalf brilliant brilliant i really appreciate you saying that uh, so kavita towards the end and also like i said this is today's oral care day uh, what's your message you know to the audiences listening to us and also to your fellow brand founders uh, what would you tell them and how would you suggest that they build a sustainable brand um i think um uh, one thing which is which is very important is you know when you are starting off there are probably a lot of things that you want to do um but all may not be feasible at that point because of multiple reasons some might not make financial sense some might not make um uh, sense in terms of the kind of um, i mean it might not fall in sync with what you want to do as a brand um but then at the same time it's it's the thought which matters so if you are if you are true to your thought and if if you truly believe in something there will be ways uh, in which you can make an impact towards the environment thank you so much kavita thank you so much for taking out time to speak with us thank you for all the valuable insights that you shared your personal story that you shared and also a big big thank you for the shameless plugins of the disposal company as well <laughs> Uh, and yeah i think this is going to be a great episode and i hope our listeners you also all enjoyed listening to this so tune in again next week for another episode of green gossip and here's bhagishri signing off well folks that's a wrap for today's episode we hope that you too are motivated to become a sustainability champion so do your bit Share the link to this episode with your friends and family. Help us spread the word. Every weekend, we'll be bringing to you the human side of sustainability with a new story. So be sure to follow the Disposal Company on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Once again, thanks for listening. Let's heal the planet together.